All right, today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about building a mock scrape. Um, it's September 15th today in Indiana, and uh, this is about the time we like to put our mock scrapes out. I don't think it's too early. I've always built them real early, and it just gets deer coming to them. They, they use it uh, as a source of communicating, and, and you know, deer will make scrapes all year long, so really it doesn't hurt a thing in my opinion. Um, the first thing you want to do is, is obviously location, get it in a good spot where you know there's bucks in the area that, especially during the rut, areas that they like to use. And after you've got that figured out, you need to pick a good tree. Something with a branch similar to this, about six feet off the ground, you want the deer to be able to reach for it. And uh, I always like to take an evergreen branch and wire it to it because it just seems to draw the deer and they like the smell of these things or something in it and it just always seems to make the scrape a little bit better. So I'll take a piece of wire and I'll get it up here real good. You want to make sure that it doesn't come off because they will pull on it. Get it up there hanging down about like that. And just take some wire and wire it up. And once you've got that up there, I always like to take part of the tree branch and just break it, break it over a little bit. Now, obviously I'm just doing this to demonstrate, but when you do this, you wanna make sure that you wearing rubber gloves and whatnot and taking the necessary precautions for scent because you don't wanna obviously get any scent in this. But after that's done, I like to come around the bottom, which I've already got done with just a normal rake and just just rake out an area about the size of a car hood, get it down to bare dirt, try not to get anything in it, and and make sure you get it big enough because it will close in on you a little bit with the leaves and stuff. After that is done, basically all you got to do is get you a good scrape dripper, hang it up, and they make some things to also dip the branch in, and you'll need to do that about I normally do it this time of year about every three weeks or so and I'll actually carry the stuff in my hunting bag so when I'm in the area I can freshen it up and it'll it'll just get to where the deer get used to using this and just make sure you um, keep it cleaned out and uh, other than that it'll uh, it'll greatly improve your odds it just gives you one more thing when you're hunting that they could draw that big deer in if he's out 20, 30 yards, this will give him some place to come to. Because if you put a trail camera over this, I think you'll be surprised at the results you get. 